Good day everyone, just making an updated video on how to install Steam on a school laptop. I've actually got a uh, OBS on this PC rather than just a camera pointed at my uh, old school laptop. But of course, because I'm not on a school laptop, I won't be able to go through with the full installation, but I'll show you all of the steps. So anyway, we've got Steam set up on the desktop here. Um, now the first thing you want to do is just create a new folder for it. You chuck it straight on in and you go into this folder and you want to find view up here. And then with view, go to options and then click view again. And you want to first thing, make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unchecked and then click apply. Essentially, this allows the uh, file that we got to use in a second. Uh, now to get this file, what you have to do is just open a new text document. Um, then insert, oh shit, let me just copy it again from my old video. Yeah, just chuck this in there. Uh, I'll put this in the description, of course, um, for easy copying. And then what you want to do is just save it. Um, then once you've saved it, go back in there and then rename it to, well, it doesn't really matter as long as it ends in .bat. Just like that. And it'll come up with this message. You just want to click yes. No harm done. Essentially, as long as these are in the same folder, what this is going to do is launch Steam. So you don't click Steam. You don't click that at all. You just click yes, dot bat, mine's called anyway. Uh, and that'll instantly open it. But of course, it doesn't end here. Um, there's a couple things you need to do as well. So on a lot of um, school laptops, like mine was one of them, it won't actually let you put it straight into the program files. So sometimes you actually have to go ahead, go into your drive local disk possibly and create a new folder i'll call this one yes as well and then um, you have to reroute the installation to that brand new folder and then it should work fine um if it doesn't work there if you have another drive like uh d drive try that um yeah what was the other thing right so when that installs and you open it up for the first time you're going to get two messages it should be this one first um uh, web file. Uh, yeah, so this, no stress at all, just click ignore. The same thing here, just click cancel. Um, and then you'll be in Steam. But there's a couple things to take note of. Uh, firstly, probably the final thing uh, is that some people, once they close Steam, can't reopen it. So what you've got to do is just go to, oh, what am I doing? Go to Task Manager. And you've got to scroll all the way down until you find this lot of steam applications then you just close the top ones until one of them will shut the rest and then you should be able to relaunch it easy enough